All right, welcome back. Um, so now I just want to go through how to set up um, side specific um, elements like your AWACS and your tankers and the carrier. Uh, I've just got rid of all the um, the triggers and everything for the enemy that we'll spawn in just to keep it nice and clean and simple. I've also added whole of added flights uh, which I'm going to use on subsequent templates. I've got some uh, MI8s, got some Hueys in there and some Harriers and different planes that I've set up for on runways and down here I've got all my cap F-16s and whatnot. So once you do that like I said in the first video and get that out of the way and what I'm about to do now then you can just use that as a template for previous missions and just concentrate on adding elements and you've already got all this set up so this bit takes a bit of time with all the um, radio frequencies and all the little details for the flights but not too long and once you do it once you don't have to do it again so let's get into first of all AWACS plane bang uh, let's call him AWACS Let's select an AWACS plane. I like to go to USA because it gives you more choice, but actually it doesn't matter for this one because I know which one I want. I think Australia's got one. Um, nope. <laughs> Made a liar of me. There it is. You got two choices. You got this um, big one. Or you've got the A2. Um, I might actually use this and have him launch him from the carrier when we start, but I'm just going to put him up in the air for now. Uh, let's call him Overlord, why not? Let's put in frequency 127, which is, if you remember my previous videos, I had my presets to 127 for AWACS so let's make sure that's AWACS uh, skill let's put in excellence um, what else we go down to height let's put him at 25,000 will do now uh, 30,000 I'm not sure if this plane can go that high soon find out all right uh, <laughs> Let's keep him 300. All right, so he's going to spawn in at that height. Um, it's already defaulted as an AWACS um, waypoint because that's what plane it is. And it's already defaulted. Very handy. Um, I'm going to add here a couple of things. First of all, perform command. I'm going to change him to invisible because I don't want him to be shot down by the enemy. Um, you can't have it, it makes it harder and if uh, don't protect it then it should be shot down but uh, if it goes down early and kind of ruins the mission for Cap if they're trying to use it so I leave it on, I allow it. Um, and also put him immortal in case our side shoots him down. <laughs> uh, Alright so he's invisible, he's immortal and I'll also add now I'm not sure if you have to, but I usually set the frequency as well and double that up. <laughs> Whatever the highest is. So I've got all that set up for him. The AWACS is on, he's immortal, invisible, and his frequency is going. I'm also going to go, and actually I'm thinking of the tanker. Don't need to do anything more than that. I do need to give him a waypoint. Let's go add. Let's put it around about here. So he's going to fly into there. And on this waypoint one, I'm going to add task orbit. And I'm just going to get him to circle. So he's just going to AWAX his circle, but I'm going to. Why is he so slow? So as fast as he can go at that speed, that height. <laughs> Maybe let's change it to E3. There we go. 
Um, so for now I'll just leave it at that. So important again, if you remember my other video, stop condition. We don't want him going away, so duration, let's keep him up there for five hours until he runs out of fuel. Uh, let's be nice and give him a waypoint back home. So when he does go out of fuel, he'll head back here. Let's make that a landing waypoint. So the mission, he's just going to fly here. He's going to go woo, circle around here. He's all set up. Um, this is my test plane. Let's test him out. Fly mission. Um, actually, let's save that as this template to fly mission. Test pilot. And we should have a little AWACS spike on our RWR. There's our F-18 and there's our AWACS. F-10, he's going to fly. Let's just... Oh God, I'm probably going to crash in the water. Or crash into him, hopefully not. And he's going to go into an orbit now. My eye sinks slowly to the water. And he's just going to keep doing that until that time runs out or runs out of fuel and head back to base. I like to double check everything. Even during the when the mission, once I've done all this, I'll just let it run just to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. So AWAX is active. My guy is still flying. Very good. So, AWAX set. Game a call sign. You can give whatever call sign you want. Let's do wizard. We haven't done wizard for a while. Um, okay, tankers. Let's move my test flying out the way. Let's go plane. Boom. I'm going to call this um, Texaco. I'm going to make that a tanker. That's the one I'm after. This one here is actually a boom and drogue. Uh, I'm going to put that, okay, running down the list. We go skill, we want excellent. Call sign Texaco, because uh, it's Texaco that I wanted, and I'm going to put that to 252, because that's what's frequency I've got in my presets that I've set up for the first tanker. Um, okay, advanced waypoints. It's already set up as tanker. It's put a tack in already. I'm happy to keep it at one x-ray. Um, call sign, I'm going to do tex. So I can identify it as Texco to make it so you're not trying to call Texco but following the tack in of another plane, which is very frustrating. Um, now, I don't think the unit matters uh, in this one for the plane. So I'm just going to leave that. Uh, it should be transmitted on one x-ray. Um, now I'm also going to add for that... Oh, where was it? Form command, visible, yeah, model, transmit set frequency as 25 no, 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 no. Alright, so I've got the tack end set up. I've got the frequency, invisible immortal. Let's give him a waypoint. Actually, let's give him a height of 20,000. 270. Alright, um, waypoint add. Let's give him one waypoint. Whoops. Try that again. Let's give him a second waypoint. And let's give him a landing waypoint. Alright, so let's have him basically I'll set this whatever the mission 
is going to be. I'll just have him flying just south of Bullseye, see. Now, like I had in other waypoints, um, in other videos, I should say, click on the first waypoint, advanced options, add, perform command, oops, sorry, perform task, orbit, racetrack, 20,000 feet, 270, it's what I want. And he's going to go from whatever waypoint we set that to the next one and back and forth. So we have him set up. Um, oops, one thing I forgot. Bring that back up. Stop condition, duration, five hours. <laughs> Stay up there forever. All right, so that is Texaco. Now I can, I usually put up the second tanker because it can get crowded on one tanker. You might need uh, a lot of people refueling and people practicing or not that great and they take a bit more time than others. So it's good to have a second option there. So I am going to either set that up again or I'm just going to go control paste or copy paste I should say. Oh that didn't work too well. <laughs> Let's get that back down. Back down and put that on Copaletti. All right. And I'm going to set this one up as it's behind him. I'm going to set this guy as not Texco. I'm going to call him Arco. Whoops. I am going to go down the list and change anything I need to do. So I'm going to do Arco and change the frequency. And then I put him to 18,000, a bit lower so they don't collide. And I change all these to 18,000. And then I'm going to go back here. Oops. Advanced waypoint. I'm going to change the TACAN to 2x ray. I call him Arco. Now this call sign in your TACAN shows up on the HUD. Um, so like I said, it's good to change those. Um, frequency, we want 253. And I think that's it. So I've got two X-ray chains. I've got the frequency, got him a bit lower. And that tanker is all set to go. And the same orbit, actually, I should change that as well. No, that's okay. Perfect. It's already defaulted there when I changed it. So that's at 18,000 as well. And on the racetrack. So let's have a look at that in mission. Let's get our flight back here. Make sure the tech ends are working. Okay, let's go HSI, tack in on. Now we got one X-ray. Let's turn it on. One X-ray is oh, we had air. There we go. Texaco is up there transmitting. That might be him there. Or well, it's probably the higher AWAX. But yeah, he's out there, and now let's change to 2 X-ray, enter, and I've now got Arco up there, transmitting over yonder. So that's working, and I've got, if I set up on 1, 2, 7, or I can do presets, I'll have it on number... Yeah. Oh, this is my test plane. I haven't actually set presets up. Anyway, one, two, seven. Let's test it. Uh, request bogey dope. Wizard. There he is. Perfect. AWAX working. Tuck in working. Um, let's try two, five, two. 
for tanker. Arco. Actually, Arco's 253. We've got him in the other order. So let's just go to tech. Uh, Tech's go. There he is. Let's test two five three. I'm a stickler for making sure everything is working. Take our Arco. Alright. So I got Texo and Arco working up there. Um, actually, before I do that, let's see, make sure they're all flying the right way. F10, speed things up. So they're on their flight path to waypoint 1, they should go out to waypoint 2 and just keep circling for indefinite until they run out of fuel. So AWAX, again, we're about to hit him, but he's going to go into a circle. These guys are going to go into a racetrack, hopefully. Let's try to speed up some more. So I think it speeds up when I kill myself. Alright, so I should die soon, and that should speed everything up when I... Okay. So that's as fast as I can get. So they're going to go in their little racetrack. AWACS is above them. And hopefully they just keep doing that, and doing that, and doing that until they run out of fuel. So that is how you set up tankers and AWACS. So let's quickly jump back out and I just quickly want to show the carrier which is the only other thing we need to put in. So carrier, ship, boom. CBN 72, Abraham Lincoln's down. Um, sure, why not? <laughs> um, I haven't had um, Abe Lincoln in before, so let's put CVN 72. Let's uh, name... I think it's because I, I was playing around before, so I think that is why that's defaulted up. The last time I did it was CVN 72. It must have been. Um, so make sure you name it, otherwise it's probably just ship one. And put in a unit name of the same. I'll just copy-paste that. Skill excellence, head in, let's put him north. Frequency, I want 272, just to keep it nice and uniform with the 72, make it easier. Um, tack in, I want as 72 x-ray for the same reason, and I'm going to call, what can I call him? It's called C72, unit CBN72. Now you can only do three digits in the HUD for the call sign, that's why I've done it like that. Um, activate TACAN, let's, well I'm not going to worry about it, vulnerable and invisible, because let's make him a target if it gets too close. Um, which I want. Frequency I've got, uh, like I said, I'm not sure if I have to do this, but I will. Where is it? Well, I can't set frequency in this one by the looks of it. So, but I, what, I, what I do want to do is activate ILS or ICLS. Um, channel 1, sure, why not? CVN72. Do I need to name that? I'm not sure, I don't think I do. And yeah, so that will activate the ICLS system on channel 1. Um, actually, let's make it channel 2, seeing it's CVN 72. In case I have CVN 71 up within the same um, battle group. 
Alright, so speed 11 knots, that's fine. Let's give him some waypoints. Uh, where are we? Let's start him about here. Add waypoint. It's going to start 8 o'clock 11 knots, so let's see how far. Uh, that's not very straight, but... Um, so 9.28, so it takes him an hour and a half to get from there to there. So bear that in mind when you're timing your mission to keep him running so he doesn't stop. Um, I'm going to add one more here. Let's put it... Oops, 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 oops. Go back, go back. I put him out of sequence there. That's okay. And that's going to be 948. And let's add one more down to here. Add 11 knots. And that's going to put it to... 11 o'clock, what's that? Three hours. So if I want to make it be bigger, just extend it and it'll be even longer. So he's well and truly should be um, stay moving until the mission's over. Um, so I'm stickler trying to get these lines straight. That's my OCD coming in. Um, like I said, I've got the um, carrier frequency set up. I've got the TACAN set up. Uh, I've got the ICLS set up on channel 2. And that, when I fly my little test plane, should come up on the tack end. Let's double check. Always double check everything. Alrighty, so we will fly that. And we shall activate um, our tack in and go HSI tack in on and we shall go 72 X-ray on. Whoops, 72 enter. There's our tack in C72 activated. Done. All right, jumping back in, I've got one last thing to show and well, there's a whole video on setting up placements and whatnot uh, with WAGs that's got one out there, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. I am just going to throw down a flight. Uh, you know what, I can actually go back to this airfield, the first one we threw down. Oops, delete, 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 delete. Click on him, control copy paste I should say control paste there that's already slapped it down and I'm going to change that to F18 CVN72 and I shall all I have to change now is the tail number I'm going to keep that at 101 102 103, 104. Uzi's down. They're all clients. The radios are going to be. Nah, actually, I should have changed that to 272 before I did that. So let's just take the flights down to 1. Do that again. And add 4 more. Okay, let's get the tail numbers, excellent. And don't worry that they're like that. When I click back on them, they should go into there. And that's the flight. I've got 118 CAS done. I can do that again. Control C, Control V. And I'm going to make this cap. And I'm going to make that uh, tail number. 105, 106, 
All right, so I've got two flights down, Cap and Cass. Field. All right. So when I jump in now, flight. Um, actually, I'll just show you how to place one static unit on there. Um, well, I've already defaulted to it, but you go to static unit, you select aircraft and deck equipment. I've got this one selected, just whack him down, place him where you want and make sure you link the unit that you're on so it doesn't fly off the carrier. Fly mission, jump in, uh, let's find it, CVN72. Fly on the carrier, that crew's already defaulted, there's my little thing I put down. And like I said, wag has got a big uh, video on that, setting that up. So, we know the tack hands working, we've got our carrier, the CVN74, the non-super carrier will work the same way. We've got our airfield set up, so pretty much I've got a template to go ahead and just work off the rest of a campaign little thing that I'm doing and just change mission parameters with the enemy. So I'll leave it there, hope that helps in setting up um, templates and triggers and all that. I'll, if I think of anything else to put in that might be helpful for mission making, um, I'll put in another video, otherwise any extra tips uh, that you want to put in, throw them at me so I can improve and learn as well. I shall leave the video there. Hope that was helpful.